This video is going to help you manage your stress because we're going to go over how to set automatic replies in Microsoft Outlook so that you can keep your job and spend some guilt-free time with family, friends, or maybe just take some time to yourself. Welcome to my office. My name is Mike and I'm all about helping people like you learn Microsoft Office programs that align with industry standards so that these skills can actually help you have some career success. I truly believe that anyone can land their dream job or get that next promotion at work through proper Microsoft Office training. And that's why today I wanted to show you a very important feature with Microsoft Outlook that will help you let people know when you're gonna be away from work and when you're gonna come back. I'm gonna show you how to do that in the desktop version of Microsoft Outlook and also the web-based one, and they're not the same. So we'll start with the desktop version of Outlook, and from here you have to boop the file tab, and then from this backstage view, you just boop the automatic replies button, and that's gonna bring up the automatic replies dialog box. Now from here, you could just say send re automatic replies, and then don't forget to check the only send during this time range so that your automatic replies have an end when you return to the office. So we'll just click there, and then we'll set our time maybe for next weekend, which starts on Friday, January 21. And maybe we get off at 1 p.m. So that's the start date. And then the end time maybe will be Sunday at around 11.30 p.m. So that people know you won't be responding to messages until Monday morning. Now, the great thing about this dialog box is it's got two options. You can choose inside my organization if you're using a message that has private information and you don't want people outside of your organization to see, maybe someone's super private email. You can also create different messages based on whether they're inside your organization or outside. So we'll try two different messages. One's going to be super professional for the inside my organization. The other one's not going to be so much uh so professional. The professional message would go something like this. Hi, I'll be out of the office on vacation from Friday, January 21 to Sunday, January 23rd. For assistance, please contact my colleague, Brandon at BeLazy at gmail.com, Mike. So that message would go out if someone tried to message you from within your organization. And then you can choose a different message by clicking outside of my organization. So we'll click on that tab. And there's a few options here. You can just turn this off if you don't want people outside of your organization receiving an automatic reply, or, but we'll create a separate message for people outside of our organization. So it might look like something like this. Hi, replying to your message could be very dangerous to me at this time. After months of trying, I've infiltrated the Aquafit group at my local YMCA, and the group of senior women have finally accepted me as one of their own. But the alpha female Mabel responds violently to technology and has been known to attack people in the possession of their smartphones. Mike? Okay, so the great thing about this is no one inside of my organization would see this. I could just have some fun with this and only people who outside of my organization, maybe my family and friends who email me would see this. <laughs> so maybe I'll leave this up for a few days and see if anyone notices. So then you would press OK or you could go back to the inside my organization. Now let's say we wanted to take this a step further. And maybe Brendan needs to have these emails that are being sent to you, uh, to him. So you could do that within the rules tab here. So just click rules and then we'll add a rule. And what we want to do is maybe you've got a team so you know a few emails. So you just say, you could just say from and add all the people in there. And then you would just say forward to and then type in Brendan's email here and just press OK. So that's how you could have any messages coming to you forwarded over to a colleague. And now we're going to create automatic replies in the web-based version of Microsoft Outlook. So the first thing you have to do is boop that settings icon here. And then from here, we're going to boop the view all Outlook settings. And then in this dialog box, we're going to click the automatic replies tab. And then you can see that it's got similar options. You can uh, send the replies during a start time, start date, that kind of thing. You've got different messages for people inside your organization and people outside of your organization. You'll notice that there's just fewer options to the web-based one versus the desktop one. So if you need those options like forwarding a message to a certain colleague, you're gonna have to use the desktop one. But if you just wanna quickly do this on the web-based version, you can do that. Now, when you come back from being away from your office, you're gonna to have to manage your email messages. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in the video on your screen. We're going to manage messages and we're also going to manage colleagues through Microsoft Outlook. I'll have that one up next week and I'll see you over there.